We often need to compare and mark the table setting conditions at work, but how can we see the trend of the data more intuitively? Take this table as an example. Suppose now we want to find out the names of milk tea with a quantity larger than 100 and mark the color. Select the quantity area, click the Home tab, the Conditional Formatting drop down button, and then the Highlight Cells Rules option. There you can select greater than, less than, between, equal to, and other rules in this pop up window. Select the greater than command. Open the greater than dialog box. Enter 100 in the value box and select the light red fill with dark red text. In this way, you can find out the data with a quantity greater than 100 and mark them in red. We can also find out the names of the top 10 milk tea in sales volume and mark them in color. Enter equal B2 star C2 in the cell and press enter to get the result of milk tea sales volume value. Then move to the lower right corner of the cell and double click when the mouse cursor changes into a cross. By this, we can get all the milk tea sales values. Also, we can use the sum product function to do the calculation. If you want to learn more about how you can use more functions, please check out our videos on the usage of different functions. Select the sales data area, then select the top bottom rules option. In the pop up window, we can see the top 10 items, bottom 10 items, top 10%. Bottom 10% and other commands. In this case, we should select the Top 10 Items command. Enter 10 in the value box and select the Yellow Fill with Dark Yellow Text option. Click OK. There you can find out the names of the top 10 milk tea sales and mark them in yellow. Data bars can help us see the data trend more clearly. Select the Milk Tea Sales area and click the Data Bars option. Here we can choose gradient fill, solid fill, and more rules. In this case, we select gradient fill and choose blue to fill in the cells. Therefore, we can add a colored data bar to represent the value in the cell. The larger the value is, the longer the data bar is. In this way, we can see the comparison of different milk tea cells more intuitively. Color scales have the same effect as above. Select the sales area and click Color Scale. Then select the green white color scale style to present the data trend in a color scale. Similarly, Icon Sets is also one of the ways to reflect the data trends. First, select the sales area, then select the Icon Sets option. Here we can see that there are directional, shapes, indicators, ratings, etc. Select Ratings. Five rating style. By this means, the data trend will be presented to us graphically. If you can't find what you need from the built in rules above, we can also customize new rules. Select the sales area, click the new rules button, and select the rule type and rule description in the pop up dialog box. For instance, if we only want to format values that are higher or lower than the average, Just select above in the rule description and select the format in the preview. We can choose numbers, fonts, borders, and patterns in the format. In this case, we choose pattern and standard yellow. Click OK, then you can customize the format of the cell area. In this case, the data with milk T cells above average will be highlighted in standard yellow. We can add, edit, and delete rules in the rules management. And we even can select clear rules from selected cells and clear rules from entire sheet in the clear rules option. We select the cell area where the rules have to be cleared, then we can select clear rules from selected cells in the pop out sub menu of the clear rules option in order to clear the cell rules that have been set previously. This feature can easily make the data report look more intuitive. Let's learn it together.